Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. I hope you liked my top 10 Power BI questions video part 2 that I posted last week. If you haven't watched it, please find the link to the video in the description section below. Today I will be sharing with you the most repeated DAX expressions that can come in your PL300 certification exam in 2024. It's important to note that these DAX expressions have mostly been repeated in my practice tests. And this list is just based on my personal experience with the PL300 exam. So please at least go through these expressions in detail while studying and preparing yourself to get certified in Microsoft Power BI. If you are too scared of DAX, I should say this to you that do not worry at all. In your PL300 exam, mostly you will find very few basic DAX expressions repeated in different forms for questions and mostly you might be able to guess the answer just by looking at those options. But you should know these expressions well. So uh, try and practice as many questions as you can for the DAX expressions that I'm going to share with you today. So without further ado, let's get started. First, please bookmark this link as Microsoft Learn website is the best resource to get yourself well acquainted with data analysis expressions or tax. So the first expression we need to know is count. How do you write this DAX expression? We write it as count open brackets column close brackets. The count function counts rows that contain the following kinds of values. It could contain numbers, it could contain dates or it could contain strings. When the function finds no rows to count, it returns a blank. Blank values are skipped. True and false values are not supported in this DAX function. Next DAX function that we are going to talk about is count x. We write it as count x open brackets table comma expression. The count x function takes two arguments. The first argument must always be a table or any expression that returns a table. And the second argument is a column or expression that is searched by count x. The count x function counts only values, dates or strings. If the function finds no rows to count, it returns a blank. Here the example that we have is count open brackets product comma list price. So this formula returns a count of all rows in product table that have a list price. Next function that we are going to talk about is distinct count. We write it as distinct count, open brackets, column, close brackets. This example shows you how to count the number of distinct sale order in the column sales, sales order number. That's why we write it as distinct count, open bracket sales, comma, sales order number. Next function, which is a quite important function, to remember is calendar auto. We write calendar auto DAX function as calendar auto open bracket fiscal year and month close brackets. <clears throat> it always returns a table with single column name date that contains a continuous set of dates. The range of dates is calculated automatically based on the data in the model. The date range is calculated as the earliest date in the model which is not in a calculated column or a calculated table is taken as a minimum date and the latest date in the model which is not in a calculated column or a calculated table is taken as a max date. The date range which is returned is dates between the beginning of the fiscal year associated with the minimum date and the end of the fiscal year associated with the max date. So the example that we have is either calendar auto open brackets close brackets without any digits and the other one is calendar auto with open brackets three close brackets. So suppose in the data model you have dates in the range of Jan 1 2012 and April 31 2013 the calendar auto open brackets close bracket without any digits will return all the dates between January 1 2012 and December 31st 2013 whereas the calendar auto open brackets three close brackets will return all the dates between April 1 2012 and March 31st 2013. Next tax function that we are going to talk about is calculate. This is also quite important tax function, but it is always used in a combination with other tax functions. So how do you write it as calculate 
open brackets expression square bracket comma filter one comma filter two square brackets comma square bracket close square bracket close square bracket close close the other bracket here in the example we have is blue revenue is equal to calculate open bracket sum of sales sales amount comma product color is equal to blue the sales table measure definition produces a revenue result but only for the products that have the color blue the calculate function evaluates the sum of sales table sales amount column in a modified filter context a new filter is added to the product table color column or the filter overrides any filter that's already applied to this column so this brings us to the end of this video i hope you were able to study and understand these dax functions for your upcoming pl300 certification exam i will make sure to add another set of dax functions video in the coming week i'll make sure the links to the microsoft learn website for these dax functions are available in the descriptions below of this video finally i wish you all the best and i hope you pass the certification exam with flying colors if you like these videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button also please like and share our videos to show your support have a great day and best of luck with your pl300 certification exam preparation until next time take care and bye bye